You are in uh, Tukom, Patea Thai, which uh, translates into South Patea. Uh, I'm walking ahead of me, I'm not sure if it's in front of me or behind me. I think to, to the left of me is my brother Paul, he's over in Thailand with me. He's got a lovely smile on his face, he looks a bit tired from last night's drinking. And anyway, mine's quick zoom round, and as you can see, it's just looking at the electrical shops and there's the pay at IT and we're just about to well we were going to go down, downstairs uh, but actually he's escalated our downstairs so we've got to find one that's uh, the next one that's going downstairs I think your, your brain gets fuddled when you're over here never mind oh that that's an up escalator. So the down escalator is right over there somewhere. That's it. Let's try that. Monday, the 18th of February 2019. Here we are, still in Thailand, a uh, place called Patea. I've just come outside of, out of my uh, room, walking down the street, and you'll see street food vendors to one side, shop after shop after shop ranging from jewelry shops to shoe shops outside a gold shop and my brother is somewhere in the distance walked away from me but I'm standing still filming as you see the traffic is rather chaotic they're walking down the street and just in front of me is, it is what's called a Santal which is a taxi it's only a 10 bar, which is probably uh, 20 pence back on the UK. The problem is, if you jump on one which is empty, you should ask how much it costs before you even get on it. But if it's empty, they'll make out get a taxi and charge you two, three, four hundred bar, which is about eight to 12 pounds for something. But if there's already customers on there, they only charge 10 bar, which is 20 pence again. I say, I'm going to take a stroll down the street and I'll probably uh, catch up with you all later. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Thai time, not sure, 7 hours ahead of English time, and the temperature's 32 degrees in the shade. I say, there's a couple of side streets near me, so I might as well carry on filming them. And up there, I shop after shop after shop. As you see, the whole place. It's full of motorcycles and surprising to see a lot of them with helmets on. A lot of Thais and uh, foreigners drive without helmets and they get fined accordingly. The fine is only about 10 English pounds, if that. Um, but to me, after working in the environment, I've seen so many accidents without helmets, you're taking life in your own hands, that's all I can say. Opposite me is uh, Pizza uh, Domino's, uh, it's from the corner actually, and it's a massive building, they're just work, working on the exterior, I think they're going to turn it into a massage parlor. Okay folks, I'll see you or speak to you a bit later. Here we are walking further down the road on the same date, which is the 18th of Feb, and across the road is a temple, they call Wat Chai. Uh, another blog or vlog I'll do with a later date and give you up to date uh, of what the temples are like, especially in Potea. This one is very popular and in the car park they normally have fair, fairgrounds going on and various uh, festivals take place. Probably one this weekend, but at the moment I'm just standing on the outside watching the traffic go by. And right behind me is a school, which I won't, I won't be filming because uh, of young people. But as you can see, the Watchai Temple grounds. And if you see over there, the white building is. A, I live in one of those condos, as you say. Roads are quiet at the moment because the traffic lights have just changed to green and the massive traffic has just gone past. 
okay, once again, catch up with you a bit later.